I feel like it might be relevant. Well, it is relevant for people to experience fourth density behavior. Like you, we were given kind of more than anything right now. Right? Yeah. Just speaking generally on the masses. And you gave examples that were maybe like exaggerative, like cuddle puddles and like mm -hmm. <laughs> stuff like that, which is cool. But I feel like, um, can you, so can you talk about the relevance of people experiencing fourth density behaviors and is, is like mushy as that might seem to, um, like fifth or sixth densities who realize they, they are their own light and source. Um, and then at what point is it relevant for someone to start integrating higher density behaviors? So I guess the question is, um, can you speak to the relevance of those fourth density behaviors? Like, and then at what point is it necessary um, or helpful for, for one to move, to move past that? Generally speaking, it's gradual. It's not linear, but it is gradual. So it's not strictly linear, but it is, there's a gradual embodiment of these densities, typically. So it's very simple. Like that's relevant for those who are transitioning from third density into fourth density, which is what the majority of this planet is seeking at this moment. So cuddle puddles, for example, is very relevant for most humans. <laughs> Is it, so it's kind of like a slingshot effect from third density, which is like so in the thralled and separation. And like, because um, it seems that each one balances the other. It's like kind of like a, almost a knee jerk reaction to- Like a pendulum swinging up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that drawing I once made, the sort of the pyramid shape with the line in the center mm -hmm. representing where the individual is at and left being fourth density, the starting point being third density, left being fourth density, the left line going upwards. And the lines were like going more and more precise, specific, merging in sixth density, where the, the paradoxes are resolved and the polarities are resolved and transcended, and there's no more need for that type of exploration. So the totally unified self at sixth density, then these two things, one being fourth density, one being fifth density, a little character here at the bottom, starting at third density with the line straight up. And the journey is kind of like this, fourth density, fifth density, but becoming more and more like, more and more balanced. So it is like that pendulum swing, at least in real time. Um, it'd be a little hard to describe how that happens at a soul level, but at an experiential level, day to day level, you can find that, you know, maybe for a few months, you're like in the range of like just loving and caring and you're joining Greenpeace and cover puzzles and then you get kind of tired and sick of it. And it's like, or maybe someone breaks your heart and like you overgave or whatever it is. And then you're like, Oh, fuck that shit. And then you pendulum swing. <laughs> it's like, I'm good on my own. I don't need relationship. I don't need this. The world's fine as it is. And then you kind of get bored of it. And it's kind of like, yeah, but I'm here for a reason. Am I not? Maybe you read some channel work or you listen to Bashar and you're like, okay, yes, I got renewed energy. Let's go there. Whee! But you don't stop at that. You don't go straight to six density balance. Typically, you're going to go back again, but you're not going to go as far back because you've learned from your mistakes because you've balanced it with wisdom, right? So for the, for the wandering adept that is here on earth incarnate, that is conscious of this journey and that is using these tools deliberately, they will be learning already fourth and fifth balances all the time, love and wisdom, love and wisdom, and just refines itself until it becomes commensurate with a six density vibration of balance, stability, unity, um, um, surrender, will, all that in balance. So yes, it's a pendulum swing experience, but it, it ideally becomes closer and closer to each other, like more and more in harmony. Right? Cool. So just yeah, to answer your question, we just completely depend on where someone is at. If they're mostly at third density, they're going to seek that fourth density and that's most relevant for them. And those that have already practiced fourth density already have an open heart. They're already caring on a day-to-day -day basis. They're already very selfless in their thinking and in their desires. Um, they may develop certain catalysts and suffering that they can retrace the roots of that suffering to be in their fourth density behavior which makes them question the balance of it or the ultimate nature of it. And then they're like, oh, maybe there's an even better way to see this and approach this. And then wisdom gets incorporated 
And these two just continue to sort of bounce off each other like this ping pong bowling. And faster and faster learning, it's more and more subtle. Until really you can't describe the subtlety of how you're processing those types of balances anymore. Like you can't put it into language. You cannot just explain it to somebody. It's just become subtler, 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 and closer and closer to that sixth density, unified, balanced frequency. So in the same human's life, sometimes cuddle puddles might be relevant, then the opposite might be relevant, but then maybe three years later, cuddle puddles are relevant again, but from a different vantage point. So it's in that sense, it's not linear, even though it's gradual, right? Because you seem concerned for <laughs> for others, which is cool, but it's not, it's not compassion per se, or it's not the ultimate compassion to be concerned for others. is not the same as to have compassion for others and to understand their journey. Compassion really is understanding. I understand you. It doesn't mean I'm going to react and do this and do that and fix you and save you and prevent you from this and hold back this teaching because you're going to judge it. That's concern or in the worst case, a form of pity and a lack of faith in them, which is indicative, you could say, of a lack of fifth density anchoredness in yourself. This is where you could optimize the knowledge that you're good, I'm good, we're good, <laughs> basically that the light within is sufficient and already perfect. And that it's the source of all other expression. And that we have a higher self, very important understanding that you gain, that's mostly commensurate with fifth density. You gain it in that fourth density view as well. But you're not really acting accordingly quite yet. But in fifth density, you really start to understand that every entity has a higher mind has their own guides, has their own journey, has their own path, has their own karma. And that it's not the wisest and therefore not the most loving. It's not that fifth density is less loving. In fact, fifth density is more loving than fourth density. It's just not the quality to isolate or highlight because it's not the main lesson. Um, but it is essentially that frequency of fifth density is more loving than the fourth density frequency, just because it's a higher frequency. So it's closer to the way God sees things, basically. Sixth density being the highest state where the individual is still individuated, but it sees as close as it can to the way that God sees and interacts and approaches things. Not definitely not perfected yet, but virtually as close as an individuated self could get the higher levels of sixth density anyway. So in fifth density, you really realize Every being I interact with has their own higher selves. There, there's, and you start to see those universal patterns and, and, or at least you start to feel them more or understand that they're there. Like they're coming into your field. This is not their first day in existence, right? Like there's a reason that they're here and there's um, so much momentum and energy behind the fact that they're here right now, hearing your message or whatever it is, and just simple interaction maybe. So you begin to realize also it's more humbling because you realize fourth density is arrogant as fuck. It's not humble. It's not compassionate comparatively. It's actually very selfish and self-absorbed fourth density. Um, comparatively, like again, if we're comparing it to, you know, most human beings as they're kind of upgrading to that frequency of love, it's the highest thing to aim for right now, the most relevant, at, at least the most relevant, highest thing in general to aim for is that communal love, understanding, interconnectedness, the beginnings of telepathy, sharing selflessness and so forth. But when that becomes too absorbed in itself, then it, it starts to develop concern and responsibility for others, which is really quite arrogant because you're missing the whole wisdom aspect, the whole higher mind aspect of where everybody's coming from. You don't know exactly why they need what they need. You don't even always know what they need. Sometimes you might glimpse that, but rare, rarely will you know exactly why someone needs what they need and what's behind that and what's next for them. They may just need to hear exactly what you have to say and be absolutely offended by that. That may be exactly what they need. 
So the fourth density being kind of tries to play God more than the fifth density being. There's more surrender in the fifth density being in a way. Does that make sense? Because it surrenders its own views also more. It realizes that it doesn't, it cannot judge what's good or what's not good. And it realizes it gives the entity back to the entity. And it will, it will give when it's relevant for it to give something, whether that's information or teaching or, or gesture, but it won't hold on to the results of that because it knows that it doesn't know. And it knows that that entity is its own entity with its own higher self that is beyond one's own understanding. So that's more loving. It's actually more, you could almost say it's more fourth density than fourth density. 